Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a repeating polka dot pattern in Photoshop. First off, you are going to open a new document. In this case, I'm going to do uh, 400 pixels by 400 pixels uh, with 300 uh, DPI. And then we're going to go ahead and change our background to uh, transparent with RGB color mode. And then go ahead and create it. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in, just hitting uh, Command and then the plus key here on the keyboard. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and create our uh, circle. So I'm going to choose the ellipse tool. Here we go. And then um, we're going to just to click on it and then I'm going to set my uh, width to 100 pixels with a height of 100 pixels. And then I'm going to hit from center and go ahead and click OK there. Okay, next I'm going to uh, center it on the canvas. And what I like to do for this is I'm going to add, make sure my layer is selected. I'm going to add, go uh, hit the M key for the marquee tool. And then I'm going to go uh, Command A to select all. And then I'm going to hit the uh, keyboard sh shortcut B for the move tool. And then up here, you can uh, click the adjustments uh, to align to center and align to the middle. So that way, uh, Photoshop does the work for you. You could uh, just kind of drag on the circle and align it up to the grid. Um, but I like to uh, make Photoshop align it um, exactly um, using the uh, trend, these move tools um, with the, uh, the move tool there. So I'll uh, go ahead and command D to deselect. And then um, what we're going to do is we are going to uh, duplicate this layer. Uh, right click and then click to duplicate. And then uh, with this one, we're going to go and uh, we're going to offset it. So we're going to go to filter, clicking on other, and then we're going to go to offset. And then um, Photoshop will prompt you that you need to either rasterize or convert it to a smart object. So go ahead and click there. And then in this case, we want to move uh, this circle into uh, the corner. So because our document size is uh, 400 pixels, we are going to um, divide that in half. So horizontally, we are going to move it 200 and then we also need to move it up 200. So we'll go uh, 200 here. And then what you want to make sure is that this wrap around is uh, selected. That way it automatically wraps it around uh, for the four corners. Okay, so now we have the basic of our repeating polka dot pattern. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to define it as a pattern. So you're going to go to edit and then you're going to click to define pattern. And then uh, you can give it a name polka dots and then uh, hit OK. And then from here, we're going to create a, a new larger document. Um, I'm going to do um, 12 inches by 12 inches because that is the standard size for digital paper with a resolution of uh, 300 and then uh, we'll keep the RGB color mode and then this time we'll just go uh, white background and then go ahead and create it there. And then now uh, to create our uh, pattern layer, we're going to go to uh, the adjustment uh, layers here and then we're going to select pattern and then you can change out um, and find your uh, latest pattern here at the bottom. And then uh, when you create a pattern, um, you can choose, um, you have the option to angle it. Um, you can choose to uh, scale it up or down if you want to make it bigger um, or smaller. Um, you can do so as well. And then um, when this dialog box is here, you can also choose to move it. So if you want it to like align a certain way, um, you can do so as well. If you want to get it back to kind of its original, you can click the snap to origin uh, feature here. So now we have our uh, polka dot pattern, um, but you can also um, easily change the colors um, as well. And then we'll do that with another um, adjustment layer. This time we're gonna select solid color. And then uh, you can pick a color, let's go with uh, a blue. And then uh, with it, you're going to uh, create a clipping mask um, 
you can uh, right click and then I'll go to uh, create clipping mist and then it will um, uh, that color will fill in the area of the black for that pattern so you can easily change it out and then um, you can do the same or you can add a, um, a solid color below it um, to uh, change out let's make it a two-tone here um, to change out what your background is. So you can easily um, adjust how this pattern looks if you want to create a uh, digital paper. This is an easy way um, choosing your um, your color swatches and then you can adjust um, easily um, make changes with these adjustment layers if you want to change um, how your paper looks. Okay, so while we're here, let's jump back into our pattern document here and let's go ahead and um, change the color of one of these uh, circles. So we'll just make it red here and then um, we'll add that clipping mask. Um, a shortcut for that is hitting the um, option key and clicking in between here to create uh, that clipping mask. And so now we have a, a two colors um, with our pattern here. So we'll do uh, what we did before by creating our, um, defining our pattern by going to edit, define pattern. And then uh, you can give it a name and then click okay. And then we'll jump back into our uh, document here. Um, with this one, I'm going to uh, create a group. So we'll uh, right click group from layers and then we'll just uh, name this uh, one color and then uh, we'll go ahead and create a um, another solid color make it white and then we'll create a pattern layer on top with our new pattern and then we'll select that one there and then go ahead and click OK and then um, in this case uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, uh, basically, I think it's called the stamp tool. You're going to um, create a flat image of it. So um, for Mac users, you're going to go shift option command E and then it will just create a um, another layer from those two. And then on this layer, we are going to use our magic wand tool here at the side here. And then I will select all of the black. Um, deselect there we'll make sure um, non or we're going to uncheck this continuous so we'll select all the black and then um, we'll create a new layer and then uh, we're going to uh, make sure our um, our background is black here and then um, we are going to uh, basically on this new layer we're going to fill uh, those circles in with black so I'm going to hit uh, command delete for a Mac um, you'll have to look up that keyword um, keyboard shortcut for um, PC users uh, but in the case of a Mac you're going to hit command delete and then what that's going to do we'll turn off all these others is it basically um, fills it in uh, with that background color there. So um, we'll go ahead and deselect that. We will reselect our original layer um, and this time we'll select all of the red. And then um, what you'll notice, um, I'll, I'm going to redo that because I was selected on um, this layer. I need to go back and select the original. So we'll deselect there and then we'll select all the reds, creating a new layer. I'm gonna go ahead and click the Command Delete to fill it to be black there. And then a Command D uh, to deselect um, our ma what we selected with our magic wand tool. And so now I'm going to, um, we can bring up our background layer here, colored layer, and then we'll add um, another solid color um, in this case, let's do a purple and then I will create that clipping mask. Again, you can do it either from a right click um, to create the clipping mask or you can do it with the uh, keyboard shortcut. And then um, we will do our add one more solid color layer here and then we'll do pick another color. And then we'll create that clipping mask. Uh, this time I'll use the shortcut 
um, of option clicking in the middle of the two layers to create that clipping mask. And then I notice that this one is not properly clipping. There we go. We want the purple to that layer. And so now we have our uh, two-toned um, paper here. And then let's just play with the background here. And you can just, like I said, you can easily add, change up the color to kind of give it a, um, to find the uh, look that you are going for. So we'll just um, group these together. Um, and the keyboard shortcut for Mac users is Command G to create a group. And then we now have our two uh, color, two colors polka dot. So now um, what we have created um, is basically a template using uh, for these two uh, polka dot patterns. You have your uh, single color pattern or you have your uh, two color polka dot patterns. And then um, if you want to save this um, as digital scrapbook paper or um, something that you're looking to print, you're going to go to um, file and then uh, just save as pick your folder and then you can give it a name and then uh, what you want to make sure is you change the format here to um, either to JPEG so we'll give it a name here polka dots and then um, we'll go ahead and click save and then um, it will give you kind of the options um, typically you want a higher quality um, so you can drag this up if you want it higher up and then uh, click OK. And then your um, paper is, your digital paper is saved. Thank you for watching this video on how to create a polka dot pattern using Photoshop. In the description below, you can find a link to my shop where I sell uh, uh, Photoshop templates just like this um, of various patterns that you can purchase. So if you are um, getting new, just getting to started with creating digital paper and you would like to um, kind of build up your assets of uh, patterns that you can uh, create papers from, um, definitely check out my shop and uh, where you can purchase uh, templates like this. So yeah, so definitely uh, check those out in my shop and then um, you can also check out my uh, Etsy shop uh, where I um, sell digital paper packs. Uh, yeah, so uh, thank you for uh, watching this video. Uh, be sure to check out my other uh, tutorials on how to uh, use Photoshop and uh, create and design patterns um, in Photoshop. So um, be sure to like this video. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. Uh, see you next time.